Sumac is one of my favorite stitches because it creates a really neat texture. Start by leaving a good tail to weave in later and you're going to take your needle and go underneath your first warp string. You are going to be weaving to the right but our needle should be pointing to the left so that way we are wrapping around that first warp string and then I will create this diagonal. I'm going to keep doing that same thing. My needle is going to go to the left and go underneath my second warp string. So essentially you're creating these kind of diagonal lines that look like this. This stitch also has a little bit of stretch to it. so. It can be helpful if we need to space out our warp strings a little bit more. Make sure that your weft yarn is always above your needle. You don't want to go like this, so your weft yarn is above and then your needle goes underneath. So I'm always wrapping and then pulling all of my weft up so it stays out of the way. Your yarn may start to unply, so sometimes it's helpful to kind of just drop your needle and your yarn so it can spin and realign so that you don't have issues. I can also go back and kind of space out my warp strings a little bit more evenly. When I'm ready to go back for my second pass, I'm basically going to get diagonal lines that go the opposite way. If you really wanted to, you could create all of your diagonals going in one direction. To start your next row, wrap underneath your last warp string, and then you will have your needle pointing to the right, going underneath the next warp string. So now you can see how we have this diagonal going this way. You're keeping your working weft above your needle and then you are going underneath the next warp string with your needle and wrapping around and then back up underneath the next one. For my third row of sumac, I will be going this direction with my needle, so opposite of the way I'm traveling and I will start by just going underneath my second warp string and then up. If you go under your first warp string, you're going to undo what you just did in the previous row. So that is why we start with the second. Also notice that this stitch will take quite a bit more of your weft yarn than a plain weave because you are wrapping around Other options for sumac are sumac tabby, where you could weave a row or two rows of sumac and then a row of tabby, two rows or one row of sumac and then tabby. So that would create some different patterns and textures. Another way to do sumac is called quick sumac. Thread your needle and then tie your two ends in a knot. And then you're going to put your needle at the knot end. Put the loop of your thread over your last warp. Your needle will go underneath your warp so it hooks around the warp and it will be above your weft. And then pull tight. So this is going to create basically what we just did with two rows but it will go twice as fast. So each time you are putting your needle in between your two weft and going underneath the next warp string.
had a feeling I was going to run out here, and I did, but that's okay. I just passed my extra weft underneath for now, and then I'm going to start where I left off. So this would create, you know, something kind of different, which is fine. That could be even a way to create a slit or something else to add more texture. <laughs> 